the channel my name is Mahesh Karia you guys are watching me on YouTube now and in this session I'm gonna take you through how to use use context and reducer uh, which is comes along with the uh, react so nowadays you don't need to use a uh, global reducer and you don't need to use uh, like extra library or package in order to use a uh, uh, reducer of course so we are gonna use use reducer hook along with create context to manage global state and that's gonna be very useful you you for the big projects you don't need to use any third party party libraries apart from the react so uh, we'll quickly start with using npx npx create react app it's gonna take a while because i'm using npx of course you can use bun or dino or whatever you prefer to choose or go with and uh, I'll have uh, I, I won't I won't be using Tailwind or anything. This is uh, not very UI friendly. There is just a CRUD operation for beginners who don't know how to manage global state without using third party libraries. OK, so this is very operation oriented. Stick with me. Uh, this is almost done. You see React, React Dome and React Scripts three libraries I'm using, which comes along with the React app. We are not going to use any third party libraries, but we are going to manage a global state. That's the beauty of react. Okay. Now it's uh, moving towards the framework looks like. And so again in packet or JSON, I don't have anything. I need to delete bunch of things. Uh, once I'm not going to pause this video, of course, uh, because this very, uh, real time performance I get in order to use NPX, uh, because this is beginner friendly video, we are not going to use bun or Dino or any a faster way to do this okay npx that's we use to uh, grab this uh the another way is to install npm install react space react dome space react scripts and then you need to create an index dot html and move forward so that that's the normal way and this is create react app way okay which usually takes this much of time okay on my mac m1 uh I'm on Pro Max I'm using. So, okay, uh, this is command plus select one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These files are not needed. I uh, will stick to app.js only. For this app.js, I don't have CSS in return. I don't need this bulky code. So, I'm gonna remove this. I'm gonna use just empty. Okay. Here we go inside that i'll have to create components where i need to create u table dot js and then i'll need to have u form just to simple this is the simplest way i can think of for now so command function f2 in order to use u form and here as well paste and command function f2 for using u table now i need state so i'll create a store or state here state and then this state should be should be the function like sorry uh folder so i'll use state inside that store.js looks good and now inside that store I will be having these two functions use reducer and create context based on these two things I'm gonna proceed with initial state I need to pass so of course initial state nothing but empty list of users based on that we are gonna perform uh, all the operations right so now I am creating a global context which will take initial state which is nothing but users you can add user as well if you if you want to uh, if you are dealing with uh, bulky other things but it's all your choice we'll stick to the easiest way and later uh, you can define a global reducer global reducer meaning uh, it's gonna take a state action nothing much state as action later you have to of course add switch cases which uh, which will take add delete update everything okay these are normal javascript operations okay so it's gonna update beforehand so it's not gonna fetch users every time you're getting me like whenever you add user 
you don't need to fetch updated users from the server that's why we are doing it in a front end that's the right way of doing things okay lots of orgs don't use this way uh not sure why because multiple sessions are happening and multiple users are updating because uh you if you want to see all the data at once in here after each uh refresh or you don't want to load on the server so this is the right way of doing things okay so add user which will add delete now uh, update user which will find for that particular id and now uh, return that payload uh delete user seems to be incorrect to me not sure why so this should be a simple if statement okay and that if should take if this is this then only return user okay don't return user if not equal to this okay you can use filter map or any other thing okay filter is also good so this is not equal to this then only return the user or else don't return anything hope this should work or i'll get error later we'll find out so what we have created is global reducer later you will need a provider provider which will have a actual api callings okay and that and of course this is this is should be line number 35 i just need to move to here step by step okay then i created the global reducer then i need to use a global provider which will take a children all the children this this is a wrapper wrapper of everything okay which will have a state and dispatch which uses a global reducer and it will take a global reducer and init state as an input okay now it you can define all the fetch add user method so this is a fake api i'm using okay to get the response and it's gonna set uh the user which is given in here okay the set user so this action dot type we are calling it from here that section dot type is getting here so straightforward we are doing normal operations crud operation nothing much much nothing special this thing is special because this is going to be a wrapper of all where we are passing a bunch of functions that we have created along with the users now if you want you can create a global object of all of this whatever you prefer is good for now i i'll just move to my app.js app.js meaning which will be a wrapper of all okay because if you see now i have this form table imported here i'm just gonna use use state global provider from the store and where i need to have a selected user selected meaning every time if you see the list of user inside table you're gonna select something and that select will be uh updated it, it should be updated in form so you can update the things that's why we are using it so now once you select the user you default it will be null okay it's gonna pass in the form okay and it's gonna pass from the selected user can be passed in the table so if you want to use like this you can use like this or maintain in the separate object of user from here you can do that which is little complicated for now i'm gonna go to the easiest way that you can uh, work around with hr horizontal row this old way because we are not using css just like this you can use so form is the next thing that i need to worry of so form is again pretty straightforward that i'm gonna use a uh, form let it be so form which takes create context use effect use state react global context it's gonna get again now my form is getting a selected user and clear uh, like clear selected user default its uh, name will be empty email will, will be empty for the first time and if you if you wanna because this form is gonna perform only two operations either it's going to add or update nothing much all the delete added things it's gonna happen on the table side table component now in use effect if you are selected user you have a selected user okay it's coming from table if you selected something user in the table then it's gonna set the user right set the user meaning in your input fields it's gonna set the user uh, otherwise it's it will assume you are doing first time so your input field should be empty now handle submit what 
of course it's gonna prevent default if you have user selected it means you have a user dot id it will come it means if you have selected user already you are trying to update otherwise you are trying to add the user so at the end once you add or delete this operation you will perform it's gonna set it back input field should be go back to null position so you can add the new uh, way and uh, this is a clear selected user so that that is globally updating the selected user as a default now handle change is nothing but whatever you are trying to input do here whatever the changes you are doing it's gonna get it from here it's gonna update the value according to the name of targeted name okay nothing much button is also update user if you have id otherwise it's gonna be a add user real magic is inside the table table not magic it's it's also pretty straightforward uh, it will also need to uh have this react use context and use effect it's it's gonna use react global context of course we'll need so uh like that i'm of course i'm gonna use the entire code not just i just don't want to waste much time because this is straightforward again so u table which is gonna have a selected user and that selected user which will come here as well now you need fetch users because you are providing the list of users you need a delete user because you are gonna delete user on the click of this okay and later you can get it from the create context use effect of course use effect where it's gonna fetch all the users and then map through it you provide the list of users okay key binding we are doing uh, uh okay so wh why we do this because in it, it it will be easy for react to understand what changes uh, needs to be done on what so it will uh, faster the performance that's why let it be so select user edit button and delete button is there whenever you try to edit something it's gonna update the selected user state so that's how you're gonna get uh, the results so now i'll just try to npm start okay and that npm start will will allow me to let me get my screen in here if i can uh, why i'm not okay this is a full screen i just need to make this little bigger so you guys can watch this perfectly okay we started getting errors so now we'll try to resolve one on one uh it should be the easy easy ones because now we forgot to uh inside if you go to index.css inside reactive src yeah in here i don't need this need to delete this i don't need this need to delete this i don't need this i just need to delete this again and now this thing we got so my name is mahesh my email id is mahesh at gmail dot com add user it's gonna add at 11th position because that api that we are calling is getting the fake json api if you try to edit this and if you try to edit karia update user it's gonna update because it's not updating the json pattern local is starting bundle dot json something went wrong we'll quickly go there inside app we'll understand what we made the mistake in the table if not in table we'll move forward with the the so we are trying to edit edit the code and we started getting this map error written the arrow function so fetch users is doing something wrong in the store store where we go to the fetch users here and now we are getting it user fetch response response dot json data we are moving it to set users and now once we try to update user we'll try it again okay let's try it so edit is happening perfectly fine later if you try to update something on click of update like if you go here in the form on click of update okay it's it's doing correctly right 
and handle submit if we go now to handle submit it's taking id then it's trying to update the user and that update user it's coming from store if we go to the store this update user is is coming from here which is trying to put response and that response is we are taking updating the user oh okay okay got it got it so this pattern string did not match the expected pattern okay so what else we can think of here let's go back to the user update user in here and now we are what we are doing here just id and payload can we do this if possible is this because of okay update it's got updated not sure why but it's fine it's not the right way actually we are missing something but it's fine and now if i try to delete this it should have the undefined object why because inside if when we try to delete this in else case it should return empty object okay let me try to delete something yeah now it's deleting but i'm i'm still getting this okay so that i again need to map and remove it from there okay so if we if we console log it it should not be here but let me try to edit this can i add this it means it's still maintaining just wanted to see if it's still maintaining that id not so it's created the new one okay because i don't have the id so yeah this is the uh, simplest way of doing things nothing much okay i have a simplest uh this this is because of this we are getting the side delete you can uh add some other map to remove or you can use filter maybe here okay if i the uh, filter if user dot id not equal to this if user dot id not equal to this then only return like this okay and then we try to delete this it's gonna delete so yeah this is it for this tutorial thank you so much all of you guys for being with me supporting me all the time it's been pleasure to be here do let me know inside comment box what you want from my side definitely i'll make it for you and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't already and smash that like button if you enjoyed see you soon in next video till then tada bye bye